Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Solasta with me, Bring It On. Before we do the puzzle, let's go clear out this fog of war, because that's a little bothersome. Alright, back up top. So I assume we just have to do these in order, right? So let's do... The square and then hit this switch. Alright, so you can't hit the switch. I have my paladin do it. Oh no, it's an item. The War of the Gods. Okay, so the square is only uses like the bottom right corner. It's not the full thing. Alright, the schism of Arvad. The primal gods formed this balanced ensemble when mankind rose on Tirmar. Arun was the first, Marake with him. Pakri and Arvad came into being and consolidated the quartet. Arun rose, he was higher than others, the first and mightiest. Then Arun stood aside, desiring above all, balance between the gods. Pakri had been watching the whole time. She took a more central role to bring balance to mankind. The dark days came and men prayed for a strong god to protect them against the Sorakoth. Arvad ascended as the new leader of the gods. Sortar corrupted Arvad, causing the schism. Arvad split into two entities. Einar was born, clean of all corruption. Arvad remained forever tainted. There were four no longer, but five. Alright, so we only use this according to that image, right? Yeah, okay. Then we make the next piece. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, so we have five characters, right? So we just need to find the right piece to stand on. Oh, I bet you we only use this half since... Yeah, okay, that's what it is. We just take this guy off, right? Boom. Now we need to make this piece. Assuming since we're not using the whole puzzle. Yeah, okay, this is easy. He moves up here. And he comes over here. Yeah, okay. That wasn't so bad. Let's go to quick save before we go in here. Oh, it's a Remorize. One big one and two small ones. It says, I thought we identified those when we fought them. Hold on. Bestiary, where is the Remoraz? Pretty sure we know what those are. So we had that random encounter. I mean, it's not a big deal if it, if I don't, but I swore that I did. Well, far enough away, we should have time to prepare. Right, focus on the ads first, then at the end we can burn down the big guy. Alright, decent turn one damage. I'm gonna have my paladin move a little bit further forward. Uh, probably behind cover. Not that I think it's gonna really matter here. Alright, sacred weapon. On my axe. So I can't cast a spell while I have a sword and shield, so divine favor. And let them come to us. I do need to get my cleric beside him. Uh, let's go ahead and get my. Probably Earth. I think these guys, they're resistant or immune to fire, because they use fire in their attacks. And have them aggro in the Earth Elemental if we can. Cool. Aggro away from the rest of my party. Perfect.
I'm actually going to have him move up here and give some extra of our bonus stats to our Earth Elemental, right? It doesn't seem like it's working. Well, either way, uh, let's go ahead and haste my... Do I want to haste my Paladin or do I want to bless everybody? Let's bless everybody instead. Is that enough? We have six, right? Really, he's out of range. I can't move back one. Okay. Well, that's fine. We don't need to bless it. Alright, attack the elemental. Perfect. That's a lot of damage. That's only half damage. So that would have done 44 damage. Or potentially 45, I don't know how it's rounded, so. Jeez, that guy hits like a truck. You have them now. So we'd have to be careful with this guy being this close to the action, especially with as hard as this guy hits. Uh, where's the other one that we were attacking? Oh, he's inside of that one. I really want this guy to go down. That's not gonna happen this turn. I sent my paladin over here to finish the job, I guess. Hope that he does. Not quite. I'm gonna hope the Earth Elemental can finish the job. I'm gonna attack this guy. Ooh, with a 20. I'm glad I didn't waste that on the, uh, the small guy. Oh, come on, Earth Elemental. Gotta learn to prioritize your targets. Alright, so one magic missile should finish that guy off, I think. Perfect. Right, let's try and stun this guy. Two successes. Okay. Hang in there, buddy. Oh, he only gets one attack per turn, it looks like. Um, you've endured worse. Even the small guys hit me for 17. Alright, finish this guy for me, please. You suck. <laughs> yeah, he does a little bit, doesn't he? Right, it's just the big guy. I'm gonna keep this guy back where it's safe. Even though you do get a chance to resurrect him at the end, so even if he goes down, it's not a big deal. Well, she's barely tickling this guy. Granted, she does have kind of a junk weapon at this point, so I guess that's to be expected. Even my paladin isn't hitting very hard. Well struck. He's got a good weapon and some uh, good buffs, so. But I don't suspect he's gonna get another turn. Um. Alright, not 
find out by himself. Oh, he has like one health left. Yeah. Cleric should have this. You know what? No. Let's, uh, let's use our blade instead. Perfect. Well, I must say, you're the best team I've ever had. From a living legend like you, that's a great compliment. Now, it's time to take your reward. You're leaving? I told you, this is it for me. Killing that Remoraz, climbing those stairs. I need to tell someone. I'll see you back at Care Kiflin. Mysterious. Crazy, but a <laughs> damn good ranger. He's going back to that bitter root woman. That's none of our business. Indeed. That chest, on the other hand. Also, I don't think that climbing a set of stairs and slaying Remoraz are the uh, are equivalent. I don't know, maybe climbing stairs is really hard for that guy. Ooh, the Shard of Fire. The Shard of Fire is harvested from the essence of a fire elemental who died on his own plane of existence. I think if he used a craft. We knew that already. Shame that we don't have a prime longsword laying around for the uh, dragon blade, so we finally have the shard of fire for that. A precious ring. This ring bears a shield-shaped signet. It may have magical properties. Well, Gollum would be excited about that. Now let's go ahead and identify that. Ring of the Lord Inquisitor. That sounds pretty cool. Alright, this ring belonged to Hieronymus Bash, Lord Inquisitor of the Church of Arvad, before his god betrayed humanity. When that happened, Hieron or Hieronymus, yeah, Hieronymus uh, sealed this ring inside the temple before joining the cult of Einar. Legend has it that Hieronymus was the, was the last man standing at the Battle of the Rift. Seems to be attuned, plus one to all saving throws, plus two to armor class. I cast Dominate Person 4 charges, cast Hold Monster 3 charges, and cast Hold Person 2 charges. That is really, really good. And a straight upgrade. A huge upgrade to the Ring of Protection. So we're going to use that instead. And I've been wanting to do this for a little while. I'm going to go ahead and commit to it. We're going to get rid of the Ring of Dark Vision. Because we have enough ways to provide light sources. Uh, I'm not really worried about having Dark Vision. Let's go to short rest and take care of these. Alright, move that and add that. Then you lose this and you get this. Let's just double check and make sure I did that right. Yeah, okay, we're set. She's not wearing this. She should be. No, she doesn't need to wear it. All right, so she still gets the benefit, but she's not wearing it because we need the uh, spell focus. So we'll keep it like that. All right. So we're done with that quest. Let's get out of here. So do we have to go all the way back to the entrance to leave, or can we use the, uh... No, it looks like we have to go all the way back to the entrance. Well, it's good fast travel, I guess, to the cliffs. Um... Where's the exit at? Okay, so I threw in an edit because I had someone actually help me figure this out. I didn't figure it out myself, but if you run across this issue, if you go over to this side here and click on the bottom of it here, boom. All right, so let's go back to Care Kiflin. Now that's been taken care of. What a pain in the butt. All right, 
Uh, probably Fortress of the Shield would be the fastest one, right? Let's get back to Copperin. The fast travel back to Kerkiflin. Such a weird, weird issue. Because I even tried clicking on the sign again, but it has to be on the bottom of it in order for it to activate the exit. So I wasn't going crazy. Yeah, there, there was an issue. I'm glad that was the case, and I just didn't miss like the uh, the exit. I feel, I feel validated. Let me make sure that my sound settings are right. Okay, yeah. So ideally we make it back to Care Kiffle in this episode. Well, I guess we have to get to the Manic Colin Ruins instead. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it wasn't a developer that helped me out, it was a another player that just happened to be on the Discord for the uh, for the game. Alright, um, yeah, let's focus on taking out the Acolytes first. They should only be one shot. We want to manipulate the turn order in our favor, just like so. And this guy might be two shot. Nope, we missed our second attack. Close though. If it doesn't kill you. Well, he's awake now. So ideally, I mean, my paladin's gonna take a bit of damage here. I think that's worth it. Probably not. Let's just go ahead and swing at this guy. would be really useful here since they get three attacks per turn. Let's keep countering his spells, make him useless. Good speed through this fight. Yeah, I really thought that that was going to be the end of the Let's Play. I was, I was super concerned. I'm glad that it got resolved. Bravo! Victory is yours! So I'm going to use a power here. I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, sacred weapon just for the light source. May as well use divine favor as well. Hold firm. You've endured worse. Alright, not very good rolls. I need to uh, summon my spiritual weapon on this turn and not forget to do that again. Then you, my friend, can... Uh, let's go ahead and get back a little bit. Scorching Ray. Counter his spell again. <laughs> that poor high priest. My cleric is taking a beating.
I would like to take this guy out first. So I have her start whittling him down. I should have used Scorching Ray on him as well. Big smite, and this should kill him if it hits. One less enemy. Perfect. Mm. Ah, wow, nineteen damage. Not bad. More. Darn it. Just shy of killing him. Uh, in fact, I think Feindall can take care of that for us. One less enemy. Alright, just keep, <laughs> just keep countering his spells. He's back there watching all of his buddies get murdered, and there's nothing he can do about it. You have them now. Alright, don't need a smite there. Because he's dead regardless. I'm gonna stand beside this guy and force him to do something else, hopefully. Besides waste his turn again. just need to be in to hit him. That's too far away. We haven't used it yet. I'd like to mess around with it. I assume we have to be adjacent then. Yeah. That was a heck of a little fight, wasn't it? Ton of enemies. All right, let's get the copper in, at the very least, and then I'll probably call it there. Off camera, fast travel to. Uh, Kerr Kiflin, and then we'll go to the Manicolin Ruins in the next episode. So I think the shortest route is from Kerr Kiflin to the Manicolin Ruins. Actually, going to the Fortress of the Shield might be... Should be faster, right? I'm pretty sure this place has a major gate. There's four major gates we have Dark Castle, Copperin, Kerkiflin, and I think it's this one. If that's the case, then this should be the more expedient route. Let's see. It'd be cool if she summoned like the uh the dragon summon the major gate here. It looks like it is all the way back inside. Well, I mean I know it's all the way back inside, but it'd be nice if it yeah, it was more readily accessible. All right.
Well, I can't express how happy I am that that issue got resolved so I can actually finish the Let's Play. Um, I'm going to call it here. Off camera, I'll do some inventory management and probably cash in the stuff at the Scavengers. See if there's any more quests at the Bounty Board. And in the next one, we'll probably end up going to the Mana Colin Ruins unless we find another side quest and uh, just continue from there. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.